seen Sensational play in a while. Yeah, still rocking the uh, the Captain Falcon most of the time. Yeah. That's another character I kind of like seeing. On, a, he, a little bit on the up and up, and at the same time, kind of not in prominence a whole lot because Falcon's just one of those characters where it's very middle of the road. Where yes, there is. Somebody yeah. stop it on stage. Oh, oh. my god. <laughs> oh yeah. That, that. <laughs> I don't know. I just check out on Unrivaled tournaments. M make sure you're multi. Uh, yeah, make sure you're multi streaming because I definitely just like saw somebody like a little bit of salt. But let's <laughs> not just like briefly join Step Club for a bit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> just dang. All right, but Stop yeah, sensational. Uh, Captain Falcon is uh, pretty sensational. Um, I could imagine. Yeah, I, I believe he's still on the the PR in Michigan. Uh, I think number eight or nine right now. Uh, I think Maloney's number nine. So. Yeah, I think Seth might be like number ten. Number ten, okay. Number ten, okay. All right. Yeah, but uh, his Captain Falcon still definitely putting in a lot of worth with the Seth Yeroth, uh tag. Oh, that's dope. That's just a good tag right there. So this is going to be very, very interesting because I've seen a couple of Falcons play in bracket today, and a lot of them, like, there's actually a fair amount of pretty decent Falcons that are in attendance here. Yeah, Seth is definitely really good. He knows. Uh, he, he kind of plays Optimal Falcon, I'd say, um, most of the time. But, like, really, Optimal Falcon is just, like, kind of playing campy, spacing with back airs, and then going in when you get the opportunity. Yeah, and he's going up against uh, BB here with the Ness. So this is definitely going to be a little bit of a rough matchup because there are two things with Ness that make this really hard for Falcon. One is the grab game. Well, Captain Falcon's grab game is really good. Ness's grab game is also very, very strong. Yeah, definitely. But it's really going to be a matter of uh, whether or not Seth Sational can kind of outspace Ness. Because uh, that's one of Ness's weaknesses. He can get outspaced. Ooh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Often, instead of going for the uh, forward air follow ups, instead of just following with an up smash. Yeah, don't really see that too often. But oh, I he's mean, got him off stage. It's good damage, so. That's another thing that he's going to have to watch out for is these edge guards from Captain Falcon. Oh. Yeah, this is one of. Oh, oh wow. no. PK thundering the wrong way. Getting that stage interrupted. Don't on. spaghetti like that, man. <laughs> All right, so Seth Sational is oh. definitely going to take this lead and run with it. Yeah, th this is one of those qualities of Captain Falcon is if they see that they have the lead, they just hold on to it. And just they turn on the jets and they just go aggressive. Just do not stop. Oh, the footstool. Ooh, footstool. Okay. <laughs> on purpose, definitely. That was a really good follow-up, though. I'm pretty sure, like, I'm pretty sure that footstool probably was not intentional. I think he was expecting like the di down and out of the combo. But right. that PK fire was also a really good way to follow up afterwards. Oh wow, that is the reverse jab. All right, going for a down throw again. Trying to get a follow up, but uh, Sensational's not at any kind of percent where he can get anything confirmed. Yeah, BB is doing a good job of at least keeping oh! close. He had that air dodge read, but no execution on that. Again, going for the down throw. And uh, Seth is just going to jump around it. Like, he doesn't really need to worry about it. But he's also got to be careful by ledge because he's within back throw range, at least by the ledge. Yeah, but uh, I. I there's quite a few on uh, Ness's in Michigan, so Sensational like is well aware that uh, Ness is going after that uh, back throw at the ledge. So it's going to take a, a bit more to to get rid of a oh, 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 give him the elbow, people's elbow from maximum range. Yeah, the forward smash <laughs> definitely very strong. The two stock coming in for Sensational in game one. Let's see if BB. That was solid. That was yeah. super solid. Yeah, BB's going to have to I, adjust in some way. I I feel like he could like kind of make a make better decisions like when he gets like a punish opportunity. Oh, and Sensational opting oh, for the, the link. link? Yeah, oh. he, he does have a link. He likes to um, okay. use the link kind of game too. Uh, just kind of avoid uh, like his, his Falcon yeah, getting avoid downloaded. getting downloaded. Yeah, that, that's that's a solid strategy. Yeah, and not only that, but uh, like trying to build link up as a solid secondary too. Uh, finding like any opportunity he can too. I wow. Mean, oh, wow. That, those are really two really, really good reads. But yeah, in terms of a secondary, Link is really good to have because he's got, he's one of those characters that has just a lot of really solid setups. And and because of those setups, a lot of matchups that would normally be kind of iffy for Falcon is a lot more manageable with Link. Kind of like, this is a. Yeah, really I, I think like another uh, big factor of it is just like Link is such an uncommon character. Like being uh, like well versed in him, like might be able to help him out of the bind. But right now. <laughs> BB that is down quite smash a is gonna kill. Oh yeah, my goodness. BB is in quite a bind himself. I feel like just uh, Ness always has a problem with swords, and even Link, mostly being a projectile character, uh, the length on his uh, sword hits 
are definitely giving Ness trouble. Yeah, those disjoints, they still exist. Rega even though Link's specialty really is his projectile game and the stuff that he gets off of his grabs, those disjoints, they are what make this matchup a little bit difficult for Ness. So. Yeah, honestly, like, Seth is like hardly even been using the projectiles. He's just been using solid spacing in a, like, disjoint game. Yeah, he's just been relying on fundamentals this entire time and just it's been putting in so much work he hasn't really gotten gone for a whole lot of bomb setups not a whole lot of wow. you, you like you see him pull bomb but you really don't see him throw it up at, with an intention to like do anything with it oh wow up being early i like that he, he knew he was in like an awful situation with that pk fire so he's like you know what i'm just gonna go up here and you're not gonna get ready for it yeah sometimes the best thing to do if you're not sure about what the cover is just to like burn it and then just go high and try to avoid the land punish on the landing yeah because that's usually the safest option instead of oh, trying to go wow. for the ledge. The up punished punish the whiff grab. Yep. I feel like that might be another aspect of this matchup because he knows that Ness is looking for so many grabs. He can just punish with that quick up B yeah. and even killing like at what, 100 from like, really good stage? out of shield option too. Yeah. So. Yeah,